Good afternoon, Internet. I'm back. And, well, I thought I would play a little bit of Beyond the Beyond. Hmm. Need to adjust the camera slightly. There we go. And if you're wondering, everything's mirror image, so it takes me a little bit to figure things out. So, uh, let's see. I believe we're about to go ahead back to the... Oh, right. I remember where we are now. So, we are actually going to be going out and about, specifically to the south, to a desert. Seriously, game? Thank you. It's an emulation glitch with the way I do optical drive. Sorry. There we go. For some reason, I had it slightly off the side of the screen. Right. Need to move keyboard closer so I can do that. Basically, what we need to do is follow the coast down until we start getting to a very tiny village. This tiny village is craptastic. Um, there's not really much there. It's really meant to be so you actually have a place to go, because otherwise you're going to, well, die. Horribly. This is the point in the game where the random monsters will start increasing in power. So, um, I don't know if you all have noticed, but I don't seem to post these during the week. That's because I don't really have time to play games on the week. I've actually pretty much... Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. I've pretty much stopped playing... Actually, you know what? I've pretty much stopped playing games during the week, so... What that means is that, well... Hey, look, monster bait. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm kind of tired. I just actually came back from grocery shopping, which is a couple of hours of walking. Uh, more like two and a half to three. Flying mouse! So, the reason why I don't get a chance to play much in the way of games is I'm kind of exhausted after work. I mean, my job isn't super physical or anything like that, but... Well, kind of mentally tired. That's all. As a result, I really only get gaming time on the weekends, so that's what I'm doing right now. Oops. I've got to swap the key. Uh, the buttons on this. Okay, in every RPG, this button right here would be menu. This button right here is accept, and beyond the beyond, it's the opposite. What the hell? Anyway. Annie, go ahead and heal Samson. I know it's kind of a waste, but that's okay. And now we're in the desert. See that dungeon there? Yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. Ooh, do 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 do. What we're actually looking for is a coastal town. Not a very good one. Ah, uh, thieves. Samson's pretty hurt. Oh well, don't care. Damn it, Samson. You still suck. There's the town I wanted to find. The reason why I didn't care is that I knew the town was nearby. So, this is... Oh, Afra. It's like Ophelia, but, well, not quite as crazy. I guess Ophelia wasn't actually... Ah, keep forgetting this is the angle I need to lean. Ophelia wasn't really crazy so much as, um... In a really stressful situation. How about that? Hmm. Let's 
see what to talk about. Part of the problem with the recording these is I never really know what to talk about. Oh, hey, look. It's hidden away in the mountains to the west. I bet we have to go there at some point. Mmm, pirates appearing everywhere on the continent. And they're interested in the ruins to the west. The ones that they're referring to are the ones that we just passed by. So, really, it's northwest. Equipment! Do we have anything useful? No, 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 no. We've got a leather garment. That's it. Sure. I meant to hit no. How about you, item shop guy? Ooh, mage's potions. So mage's potions are MP re uh, restore. They don't restore much, but totally worth picking at least one up, if not two. In fact, I'm going to pick up two. Damn it. Uh, let's see, what do you have to say? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did stop here on my way to the port town of Luna in the south. It's not much here, but enjoy your stay! You are absolutely right. There is pretty much jack squat in this place. It's been very quiet. No? So, what you didn't see when I was over there is that there's a um, floating spire above that tower. And, according to all the rumors, it's supposed to be, um... The tower only appears in times of great danger, and, well, this is an RPG, so let's be honest here. It's a time of great danger. The Holy Hammer is only a guide. You must open the road on your own. We're holding lamp oil. One of those RPGs that you have to walk down the stairs in the correct manner. Uh, let's see, what else is there? This kid? So apparently this is the Greenheim continent, by the way. That's, I think, the only mention of the continent name. Ooh, flame card. Always nice. We're all amazed at the appearance of it, except the, that other guy said that nobody believed him. Yay, inconsistency. Save here. And yes, I am keeping that save at the border church for a reason. Um, what I want to do at some point, possibly after I'm done, is hack my save game to um, actually see if what happens when you defeat. Uh, what's her face? Can't think of her name now. Wow, I'm really tired. I'm sorry. So, at this point, we have the option of either going to Luna or going to the um, Tower of Aron, which I'm just going to walk near it. Um, I'm actually doing neither. Well, I'll stop by Luna, but I'm actually going to head to a place that you're not supposed to go right now. Mostly because it makes the game easier. You think I'm joking. I'm not. Oops. So, see? There's a floating tower. You can actually go through and do the bottom part of the dungeon now, but I don't want to. You have to do it later anyway. Ah, man traps. Ah, McQuedka leveled up. Ah, McQuedka can now heal! Because, you know, that was apparently something only Annie can do. <sighs> Healing's still very rare in this game, though, so... Do, 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 
So now that I've leveled up a bit, let's take a look at stats. So we have Miguedka with 39 attack, 29 strength, and 19 defense, 16 speed. We have Annie with four less attack, which mind you, it's only f it's five less strength, but four less attack. Uh, one more defense, but that's because of the ring of defense. Otherwise, it would be two fewer defense, and three less speed. That's pretty good. However, we have. Samson here, who has seven more attack than Miquetka, which is good. Um, six of which is coming from strength, but his defense is lower than Annie. In fact, Edward's defense is better than Sam. You know what, Samson? You suck. Damn it, Samson. Ah, two man traps. Ah, uh, high orcs. High orcs are probably higher priority than the flying mouse. Mostly because they heal themselves, and that's obnoxious. There we go. Ah, crap. Oh, okay, so now we're starting to get into the annoying parts of the game. Mages. These are the first mages that you ever encounter in the game. I can't remember if these guys are where they start getting annoying, or if it was the palette swap version of these guys. I know they're fast, and they can use items, which is obnoxious. Go away, you stupid warlock. Hey look, Samson's doing damage for once. It's only one thing that could mean. He'll probably get cursed and get hit upside the head and kill himself again. Probably right about here. Nope, just regular curse. Although, that would have killed him. One death! There's not really much to say while I just explore slash grind. Although, I definitely need to heal. Annie can take another hit, so I won't worry about her right now. So, Luna should be over here, if I remember right. It's been such a long time, I don't remember anymore. I might have actually already passed Luna. I can speed up again. Yep. Wish I had a world map. That would be great right about now. Eh, I'll just go this way. Oh, hey, look, I have to heal Samson again. Damn it, Samson. Yeah, I'm thinking it was the next version of the Warlock. Oh, is it further down here for Luna? Yes. Yes, it is. Good. Now, the Dark Priest, on the other hand? Yeah, that's square into the I hate you all, please die already category. Good. 
good. Maybe he'll die. Yes. So, um, Dark Priests work just like Annie, which means that they have an Area of Effect attack spell already. And Annie still can't Area of Effect heal. She needs to be level 18 for that. I looked it up. That was not very efficient. Oh well. Eh. Damn it! Let me in! So Luna is a very strange town, by the way. Uh, the reason being is that it's basically two towns in the same spot. And here comes the other exploit of the game, which is actually in-game exploit. Let's go ahead and save. All right, there. So, um, the general idea is that this is a port town. The only difference is that it's a port town that has both day and night. And if you've noticed when you're out and about, it's always been daytime. It's because you need an item in order to control day and night. So do you have anything useful? Yes, you do. You have all the useful things. Except for defense, apparently. Oh, well, chain hill. Let's go ahead and sell a few things while we're at it. Uh, you have nothing I really want to sell. You have monster bait, though, which is definitely sell bait. So I actually looked it up. Monster bait, all it does is increase the random encounter rate. This game does not need the random encounter rate increased. Not at all. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go ahead and buy stuff now. And upgrade the quit, because... Oh, right. I need to clear out his inventory for a moment. Hopefully my singing doesn't bother. Oh, it's not really singing. More tying? We'll go with tying. Alright, Nikwedka, you need a new weapon. For sure. Yep, you can get rid of the old middle sword. Uh, let's see. Iron Rod for Annie. That's the next priority. Let's not bother giving Edward an Iron Rod, because his attack's gonna suck no matter what we do. And I'm gonna hold off on the Broad Axe. I'm gonna need the money. You'll understand in a while. Because I am going to exploit the money exploit, because that one's at least intentional. And it helps me later on without making me go insane and having to grind. So, what the money exploit is... No. Yeah, you don't need a million gold, by the way. In fact, I don't think it's actually possible. I think the max is 999,999. So what this building is, is a magic pot shop. Or a vase, sorry. So they'll offer to sell you a mysterious vase that costs 200. Then you can sell the same vase here for 100. So not really a good thing plan, but so the vase of life is apparently important oh hey look, there's this guy named Domino who threatened to kill him dun 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 
So, the thing is about this, um, you're already fired, idiot. Um, the thing is about this place is that there's a lot of bosses here, and randomly they're crap. By randomly, I mean most of the time they're crap. Occasionally they're ludicrously awesome, though. And by ludicrously awesome, I mean you can turn around and sell them for like 10,000 gold pieces. Rinse repeat until you no longer need money in the game. Not at all joking. The exploit is obviously just saving, reloading. Reload until you get a cool vase. Sell it. Rinse repeat. Jonawan is actually where we're going next. Oh, hey, look, Moon Crescent. I wonder if that's important. Yep, totally no pirates anywhere. Hint, it's at night. Hey, are you guys asking about the thing that I just heard? So, notice that this costs 120 gold, whereas the previous hint cost 40. It's obnoxious. However, I will totally pay it. And you also notice some... Right, so, the reason why I'm paying it is I'm going to go ahead, go save, and then I'm going to go try to get some money. This part's going to be pretty boring, so I'm probably going to end up speeding it up. Unfortunately, it means I need to video edit this vlog, but that's uh, okay. It's not a vlog. What the hell am I saying? Where's the church? Oh, right, I forgot. There is no church here, is there? No, oh, no, there it is. Save again. Yep. All right. I will go ahead and save state. Make sure that's a correct save state. Yes, hucking. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to buy all of the vases that I can, so five of them total. And I get a free healing herb. Woohoo! So now I look at my inventory. Mystic vases. Mystic vases. Oh, hey, look, it's a fire drake vase. I wonder if that's a useful vase. And two more mystic vases with a free herb. So what you want to do is go all the way over here. Oops, not buy. I've got jack squad of money. <laughs> Sell. Now. Remember that fire drake vase? Look how much it sells for. Yeah. I paid a thousand gold, now I get 7,500. Um, what a fire drake vase actually does is that when you use it, it uses the spell fire drake 2, which is a summon spell. We don't have a summoner right now, so I would show it to you, except that. We don't have a summoner, and even if we did, he wouldn't be high enough level to cast it. But, it's a pretty powerful fire magic spell. Now, let's go ahead and make some a little bit more space. Okay, so now that that's sold, I go back, sell some of the mystic vases. This is the only guy in the game that will buy Mystic Vases, by the way. Alright, and that's it. So, as a result, I made roughly 6,100 er, 6, gold pieces of profit. That'd be about right. 
Uh, my brain is not wanting to work. 6,800 gold pieces. There we go. Oops. Did not want to sell anything else. Save. That's not save. That's save. There we go. Buy several more of these. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I just finished exactly half an hour of doing the vases. Um, I did not sell the last set of vases, mostly because I wanted to keep a couple. And, well, that's about it. There was a little bit of random encounter, but you can see how much money I have now. Remember, half an hour of real time. Admittedly, game time was substantially higher. In fact, I'm actually about to go see how long it is game time. Because I saved right before I did all of this. So what I'm going to do is going to save afterward into this slot. So before it was 5 hours 15 minutes. Let's keep that in mind. So let's see, how long is it actually? So game time-wise, it looks like I spent a little bit under two hours doing this. Um, mind you, the only time I reloaded was because I was testing a theory as to how the vases actually worked and how the random seed was generated. And I did go outside um, a couple of times to regenerate said seed, the reason being is that I wanted, well, um, I wanted to be able to I wanted to make it a little bit more efficient. But at the same time, half an hour. No coronamancy required. I didn't need to. I could have, but I didn't. I've upgraded my equipment to all the way. Um, that was also something else that happened during that time. I'm just handing off some... Oops. Didn't mean to give that to Edward. Edward can already use Blizzard. There. Now I'm just going to go buy some healing items. Just a few. be honest, money is not exactly an object here. Just a couple of healing items. Um, yes, I am going to end up leaving a little bit of inventory space. And let's get a couple of cure herbs. We'll go with four cure herbs. Two, three, four. So I have roughly 75,000 gold pieces at this point, which is pretty much all that I would want. Uh, this will get me through a huge chunk of the game. Let me just go to the end and rest, because I did have a bit of a nasty random battle inside of here. I think also Samson leveled up once, but eh, Samson leveling up doesn't really do much. He also one-shotted himself, by the way, just for fun. All right, and let's head out. We are going north. That is not the way we're supposed to go, by the way. And this does mean that I am going to be going around the long way in this game, so... Oh well. However, it's very important, because I want Taunt early. Taunt being the next character that we have the option of. He is actually a hidden character in the game, one of two. God, Samson needs so many more hit points. Anyway, um... 
Taunt is a summoner. Those vases that I've been collecting, when you use a vase, that's actually what happens, is that you cast the summon spell. Here, let me save state and use one really fast. Uh, that's right, Mikoidka doesn't have one. I'll have Annie use one. Let's see, Fire Drake? Sure, Fire Drake. Yeah, Fire Drake. Yep, don't care. So this is Fire Drake. This is actually Fire Drake 2. It is an area of effect the entire battlefield spell that does 34 damage to everything. Which, no, I'm not going to waste the Fire Drake. Do this normal random battle now. Don't care. Um, Taunt is extremely powerful for summons. Unfortunately, what he starts with is absolute crap and he starts at level 1. Uh, these are more like what I remember from the game. Yeah, Warlock A's aren't the bad ones. It's the B's that are the nasty. Or not A, B. Um, the palette swap of the Warlock. So this little passage up here, which, mind you, we don't actually ever have to go through now that I think about it. Okay, elves are the first of the horribly nasty evil things that one that need to die, 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 die. Oh, I just realized that Samson's at one hit point. Ah, he's not gonna live through it. Oh well. He's gonna win. That right there is the reason why I don't like this. So, wind is the other element. Er, wind, electricity, and light are the ones that start with area effect group. And in this game, all humans count as being a part of the same group. So, in other words, all of the enemy area effect spells hit everybody. All of my area effect spells don't. Unless if I'm healing. Oh, and I don't get an area effect healing spell until level 18 at the earliest. Fun! This is where we're going. And this is where things are going to get very difficult very fast. So again, I'm going through an area that's I'm going a little bit early, which means things are going to hurt a lot. In fact, Eh, I think my normal attack's better than that now, and I think about it. I'd rather have you attack, though. Huh. Samson's actually faster than Annie now. Interesting. Holy light. You'd think Undead would be weak against it. They're supposed to be. It's a mistake in the game. Because, you know, there aren't enough of those. Oh yeah, by the way, they cast ice. I hate mages. And in this point of the game, Pretty much everything in the game is a mage. I don't understand. It's obnoxious. This is the reason why I have so many items, by the way. It's because I know I'm going to use them. Probably should have actually stopped by and grabbed a healing potion now that I think about it. Er, mage's potion. More of them. Lots more. And I could afford it after all. Oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and save out here. I think there's no, nope, there is not. Ooh, fog effects. Elf. Oh, hey, look, a guiding branch. Oh, hey, look, I step five steps and I get into another random battle with another elf. Who can make... Oh! I didn't even notice McQuedco was that low. Uh, McQuedco, heal thyself. Annie. 
Annie, smack him upside the head. Samson, smack him upside the head. Not that you're gonna be alive. I think I'm gonna actually need to run. Welcome to this part of the game. It's painful. You level up fast. That's that's helpful, right? Oh, I lived. So I think I'm just going to loop around to make sure there's no items. There isn't, and I'm going to leave. So screw this dungeon. I'm going back healing and picking up a crap ton more mage potions. Totally forgot to heal Samson again. Oh well. Samson may be dead. Stupid Samson. Nobody likes you. I am screwed. Come on, Edward. You just need to survive your turn. That is, in fact, surviving. I appreciate it. Yep, Samson's out of LP. That's a sign that I should not be here right now. But they give a lot of XP, at least. Okay, I am really badly hurt, but on the plus side, Annie leveled up. Holy light two, and I get yet another guiding branch. I don't need any more, I already have two. Okay, healing before I move, with Annie's help. Ah, I'm finally at the point where a single healing spell is not enough to fully heal me. That's fine. Let's GTFO. No. Well, I'm boned. Samson's probably going to be groggy from this. Ah, oh, yep, dead. I'm going to have to raise him from the dead. Damn it, Samson! Ah, uh, yeah, so, um, if you just noticed, Edward just gained a silence spell, which is great, except for one problem. You notice Edward's always last? That means they'll get a spell off, and I forgot to heal again. Damn it, me. Uh, at least they're just these guys. Holy light. Fire two. Yes, I am using a crap ton of magic on this because I'm basically just trying to get back to where I was. Quite good leveled up. That's nice. Damn it, but, uh, why don't you have your awesome spell yet? Uh, let's see. I want to. Does Annie even have enough magic to cast Holy Light one? I think she might have enough for one. I'm not going to bother using Okay. So this strip was a horrible nightmare. I hate elves. Ah, fire wand. Or fire twoed. Do you see why this is the annoying part of the game? Yeah. We haven't even gotten to the nasty stuff yet. This is just the mostly nasty stuff. If I remember right, there's an enemy that casts Ice 2 on you, and Ice 1 is usually enough to make Samson groggy. I've got nothing. Almost there. Stay on target. Ah, good, I'm back to the easy stuff. Although 
although Annie needs healing. Yep, and I'm back to Luna. Thought I was back to Luna. Not quite yet. Further down, I guess. Oh, a worm. Now I'm back to Luna. So the first thing I need to do is go revive Samson because he's stupid. Damn it, Samson. And this gets expensive. Luckily, I have crap tons of money. Basically, the amount of money it costs to revive is uh, 20 gold per level of the character unpromoted. And I want to say 50 promoted? I'm not sure on that last part. Oh, great Garwan, governor of our destiny, please resurrect Samson! Yeah, that, that's not really much of a chant. You hear this a lot, by the way. I should also mention that if you're defeated in battle for whatever reason, you actually return back to the last church that you're in. I may end up needing this at some point, but that's- oh yeah, with half of your money. That last is the part is the problem. Uh, there's that storage chest right in the beginning of the game that you could drop off all of your money at, which, if it was convenient, I probably would right now. But I'd have to walk all the way back. All the way. Through all of the dungeons that we went through and everything. Why would somebody do this? Seriously, why? <laughs> okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is go back over to that other crappy town and pick up some mage potions, because I need them. So, zoom time. No, be nice, Samson not sucking. Or alternately having an area of effect healing spell. Just over here? Yep. Now one more battle. Probably should have healed Samson. Oh well. Nobody cares about you, Samson. And it's just flying mounts. So, a bat. This is actually the best supply shop in the game for quite some time. Notice that I can buy these. You can buy back any of the items that you have sold to someone up to the number that you have sold. So in other words, there's like five or six fire trick vases, a few wind vases, and a few tornado vases available for me to buy. So later on in the game, when I have tons of money and don't have anything to do with it, I can buy these back, which is great. For now though, mage potions. Lots of them. Keep, and you notice that I'm very similar to how much money I had before, so that trip was actually almost profitable, even though I had to resurrect Samson. Yeah. This game's weird. Uh, this one should be enough. Let's figure out how much inventory space I have by trading stuff around, because, you know, I should probably have some mage potions on Annie. You have two healing herbs. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight healing herbs. 
you have one, two, three healing herbs. And you have two healing herbs, so you probably don't need that many. Well, to be honest... Yeah, like that. That's probably good, actually. So I will go ahead and sleep here. How long was my last video, anyway? Sorry. Give me a moment, I'm just checking my length of the last video that I recorded so I don't go over by like an hour or something like that. Okay, so... I think what I'm gonna end up doing is record this up until I get back to that dungeon and stop for this recording. Ah, time to speed. So I'm gonna stop back in Luna because that's... Actually, I don't think that is convenient now that I think about it. Really, the main problem is the fact... Oh, by the way, I haven't used the um, resist jewel yet to make somebody take half damage from magic. I probably should use that at some point soon. In fact, I will next battle. How about that? Happy game. You've broken me. You've made me actually have to do this. Didn't want to, but I kind of have to. Single Dark Priest, yeah. Okay. So, this is the Resist... Uh... Yeah, Resist Jewel. So, it's only a single character that's going to end up getting the Resistance, and I'm going to give this to Annie. The reason being is that Annie is the one that heals people, which means that she really needs to take less damage from magic. Everybody else can go have fun. Magic Damage Haft! Forever! Oh, Samson only has 20 HP. That's obnoxious. Crap. Just hoping to be able to make it without a random battle. Oh, these guys aren't that bad. Uh, Samson leveled up. Alright, so, I will stop this one here, and then edit and merge things together, then start with the next video after they're done rendering. I'll probably render, go out for another walk, although my feet are kind of tired, but I do need beverages. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at everybody's stats to give you an idea. McGuedka's up to 30 hit points, also 47 attack. Very nice, very nice. 22 defense. Again, Annie is only two attack off of McGuedka at this point, which is creepy. Um, she has two fewer defense, so it's really five fewer defense. Annie's defense is finally dropping down to what I would expect. Samson's finally getting more defense. Um, you know, Samson's actually has better stats other than HP, VP, and LP, or VP, LP, and MP than Annie, which is what I would expect a frontline fighter to have, but... And... Huh. Well, that's weird. Edward actually has more defense than Annie, even though Edward's supposed to be the lowest defense per character in the game. Really weird. Okay. 
Uh, in any case, I'm going to stop this one here. Goodbye, Internet. Until the next video.